on Friday night, October 11th, the 4-2 Lake Orion Dragons hosted their rivals, the 4-2 Clarkston Wolves, during the homecoming game at Dragon Stadium. The outcome of this game would help determine who would claim the OAA Red Division title. The game began with Lake Orion kicking off the Clarkston. On their first drive, the Wolves are facing a fourth and two on their own 27 and decide to go for it. Quarterback Alex Washenko hands off to Lucas Bowman and he is stopped short of the line to gain. The Dragons take over on downs. On second and 10 on the Wolves 29, quarterback T.R. Hill is in shotgun. He takes the snap, keeps it, hits the hole and is gone untouched into the end zone. The PAT was no good, but the Dragons take an early lead 6-0 with 9.01 left in the first. On the next Clarkston drive, the Wolves are facing a third and 12th on the Dragons 22. Waschenko is in shotgun. He takes the snap, drops back, and hits Benny Adams, who is ruled down at the one-yard line. On the next play, Griffin Bowman plunges into the end zone for the score. The extra point was good, and the Wolves take the lead 7-6 with 6.41 left in the first. On Lake Orion's next possession, the Dragons have a first and 10 on the Wolves 47-yard line. Hill is in shotgun. He hands off to Jackson Vasquez, who gets some blocks and outruns defenders all the way to the one before getting knocked out of bounds by Brady Beck. On the next play, Jaden Barrero takes the handoff and breaks the plane to regain the lead. The Dragons are up 13-7 with 2.59 left in the first. An Aiden O'Neill field goal would make the score 13-10 as the first half came to an end. At halftime, the crowd was introduced to the 2024 homecoming court. Last year's king and queen Mario Barishai and Dory Shuhai returned to Dragon Stadium to crown this year's new king and queen. Dory was instructed to place the crown on the head of Allison O'Rourke. And Mario crowned Parker Gannon as the 2024 homecoming king. Um, I'm just super excited to have win. It really means a lot to us, I think, because, I mean, it feels good to be I am excited to uh, be the face of uh, this year's homecoming uh, winner. What do you want to say to your classmates? Uh, thank you guys for voting us. We really appreciate it. Uh, love every single one of you. Yep. After the game resumed, the Dragons found themselves on the Wolves 30, facing a third and seven. Hill is in shotgun. He hits number 88, Ryan Rochelo, who goes the distance. A 30-yard TD reception extends the Dragons' lead to 10, with 5.22 left in the third. In the fourth quarter, an Aiden O'Neill field goal cuts the lead down to seven with 11 minutes left in the game. The Wolves had one last chance late in the fourth on a penalty riddle drive. As the clock ticked down the zeros, the refs huddled together to discuss multiple penalties, and the announcement was finally made. The penalty's offset, we'll do it again. The game is over. The Dragons hung on to win 20 to 13 to improve to five and two overall and two and two in the OAA Red. Head coach Chris Bell praised his team on their victory. It's, it's Lake Warren Clarkson. Yeah. You know, who's got the ball last and, and uh, I was really proud of our defense. Our defense really played well. You know, I thought we had some drives where we could have gone up a couple scores and really taken some pressure off our defense and we didn't do it, but they stepped up. So. You know, we made enough plays offensively to score some points, but, you know, defensively, you know, I can't say enough good things about them. For the, imp the improvement from last week to this week, tackling, covering, we put pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. Too many penalties are late. We got to stay off the quarterback. But they, they just, they did, Coach uh, Purdy and his crew did a great job, and the kids executed. With Lake Orion defeating Clarkston and Oxford getting a convincing win over West Bloomfield 38-7 on October 10th, Oxford claims the OAA Red title with a 3-1 record in the division. The Dragons travel to Farmington on October 18th to take on the Falcons, then return home to host Celine to close out the regular season. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV Sports.